Montana U.S. Senator John Tester has a new memoir out called Grounded, a Senator's Lessons in Winning Back Rural America. That book chronicles not just Tester's political achievements, but also his life growing up and still running a farm in Big Sandy, Montana. I had a chance to chat with co-author Aaron Murphy about the book. And I realized after he won a third time, he's got a story to share, uh, specifically as it pertains to rural America. Aaron Murphy helped John Tester write his story in Tester's new book, Grounded. Murphy began working with Tester during his first campaign for Senate in 2006 and served as his chief of staff in the 2018 campaign, which saw Tester catapult into the national spotlight after he raised questions about President Trump's choice for Secretary of Veterans Affairs, Dr. Ronnie Jackson. In his position as a uh, ranking member of the Veterans Affairs Committee, we were privy to a bunch of different people coming to us from the White House, raising flags about Dr. Jackson, uh, and raising those questions led to his, uh, essentially him pulling his name from consideration. That drew the ire of President Trump, who made an unprecedented four trips to Montana to campaign for Tester's opponent, Matt Rosendale. And then when he won, by the way, by the largest margin he's ever won by in Montana as a U.S. Senator, uh, people started asking why, and that's another thing that Grounded does, was get into the why behind how a Democrat in Montana who looks like John Tester can win in a state that is still pretty red. But the book is about more than politics. It also recounts Tester's early life in the small farming community of Big Sandy, where he may not even be the most famous native. Jeff Ament, bass player for the rock band Pearl Jam, also grew up there. Uh, Jeff was playing basketball in the, in the school parking lot and John Tester would be there and that's how they met each other. A lot of people don't know that John Tester's famous haircut was first given to him by Jeff Amon's father, who was the town barber. Um, but yeah, yeah, the band has been very helpful in, in promoting the book because uh, they believe in him as a public servant and the message behind the importance of rural America. Murphy says he came away with a few favorite stories while researching the book, including one when Tester was vice chair for the Big Sandy School Board. A boy came to school wearing an earring, which back in 1986 in Big Sandy, Montana, violated the school's dress code. So John Tester was part of the decision to expel that boy. Uh, and one thing led to another, and um, the ACLU got involved. It became a statewide news story. Part of the research for this book, I called up that boy who is now a grown man and he still remembers the story very clearly, still holds a grudge and uh, uh, it was just a really nice piece of color but what it showed us was John Tester's leadership has evolved and this book really gets into what he's taken away learning uh, service at all levels of government from uh, this class president to Big Sandy school vice chair to the chairman to state legislator to United States Senator. And before going to work for Senator Tester, Aaron Murphy also spent some time working in the Q2 News Department. Grounded is on sale now.